Hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of Gatsby WordPress Themes. All this while we have been learning how to use the theme. Of course, before we actually start building the theme, it's important to learn how to use the Gatsby themes. If you have little technical knowledge, you can just directly use this theme. So you can just go to this Git repository or you can even go to npm uh, package. There's an npm package for that and it explains to you how to use this theme. So so if you would like to have the WordPress theme in React, uh, you can use this with the Gatsby framework. It's totally free. Okay, so let's start building the theme now. So the first thing we want to do is create a directory, KDIR, okay, called Gatsby WordPress Themes. You can name it what you want. And let's cd into it. And then there are two more directories that we need. The first directory we need is the site where our site will reside and another one will be packages so your theme will reside in packages so so themes are also plugins in Gatsby so if you want to publish it to NPM then you'll be able to publish it from the packages directory okay so let's do that and the next thing we need is we want to do yarn in it so the reason why we're using yarn is because uh, we want to manage multiple workspaces. So since we have two directories, we have site, we have packages as well. If we use yarn workspaces, then we can act actually do a lot of stuff like we can uh, install the packages inside of site directory or the packages theme directory uh, from my root itself using yarn. So you'll see in a moment how useful yarn workspaces are. Okay, awesome. So we'll do yarn in it and then we'll keep the name the same version would be 0 0.0.1 .0 description get okay. Gatsby WordPress theme and then entry point can stay as it is author license private yes this will be private and that's it I'm also going to open this packet uh, I'm also going to open this project into my editor so you can see I've got packages I've got side and I've got this package.json that's already created. Okay. Uh, you also want to you would also want to add the workspaces information into this. So what I'm gonna do is just add workspaces and here you need to tell which workspaces you want to use. So I'm gonna use site and I'm gonna use packages and everything inside of it. So that's why I mentioned that here. Okay, we'll add some script as well in a moment, but let's finish all of the other stuff first. So now we also need to create our theme directory. So I'm going to do mkdir inside of packages and let's name it as Gatsby WordPress themes theme and my themes name is this. So this is my theme name basically, but I would suggest to choose a different name because there's already one that exists with this name since I have already published a package with this name. Okay, so if you're planning to do npm publish, then you can go ahead and choose a different name. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so that's done. And now you wanna do npm init inside of these two directories. One is our theme and second is the site. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna do cd site and do npm init and it's asking you for package name so probably I can just say Gatsby theme version can stay like 0.0.1 .0 description Gatsby theme entry point as command repository keyword author license and that's it okay and um, you want to do npm init inside of our theme directory as well so i'll do cd i'll go into that packages gatsby WordPress themes npm init and this is important people so make sure that uh, this information is correct so gatsby wordpress theme phoenix version number so basically this will be your package name so whatever you put here this will be a version number, description, Gatsby, WordPress, theme, entry point, test command, git repository, keyword, author, 
license and that's it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is basically add some of the packages inside of our sites directory. Um, so since we already have our package.json in these two, uh, we, with the help of Yon, will be able to install the packages. Okay. This name, my friend, will be site. This won't be uh, Gatsby because this is site. So generally, if you want to do npm install, you do npm install. If you want to use yarn, you use yarn add. But since we want to use the workspaces, you will do yarn workspace, the name of the workspace. So in our case, this is going to be site. And then add which package you want to add. For Gatsby, we just need Gatsby we need react and we need react dom we we'll also use another package called dot, dot called dot env the reason for this is because we want we don't want to push the sensitive information like probably a site url or some id that we need maybe google analytics id uh, on to maybe some uh, deployment information onto the github so that's why we'll put it into dot env so that's why we let's hit enter there you go so you and it's resolving all the packages. Okay, so let it do that. 